What is poppin' fam? Good morning. It is 7 a.m. I got my Aladdin shirt on. I'm gonna be hitting legs today. Now, I did mention, oh by the way, it's 14 days out, which is freaking awesome. I did mention a couple days ago, did I mention a couple days ago that I was, uh, that I had the hamstring that I re-aggravated? Yeah, I re-aggravated my hamstring. So, we're gonna see where I'm at today. Is this like glowing, like beautifully? Like I'm yeah, an like angel. An angel yeah. yeah, I'm an evil angel. We're gonna just test it out. We're gonna see, see how everything goes. But first, I'm gonna have my pre-workout meal. All of the macros are gonna be on this screen right now, so you can kind of check it out. 15 carbs, 34 protein, 14 fat. And I'm actually going to increase the carbs. I'm gonna have one more piece of bread because uh, I wanna make sure I'm getting around 25 grams of carbs before my actual workouts. I also have my greens right here, the bad boy. We got creatine HDL, the greens, and my vitamin C. Again, you can always get your all of your products from Create Your Nutrition. The link is always gonna be in my description at all mother in times. I could be selling you shirts and be like, hey, the link is in the description and it's still this. <laughs> also, uh, I'm gonna be drinking about almost two gallons today. I want to, and I checked in with my coach. My body's looking fucking really, really good, so I'm super hyped two weeks out and I'm gonna be on stage. I already booked my my tanning. I think the girl likes, but like, well, we like each other, you know. We're, 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 we're talking on the phone, you know. Longer, it was like 15 minute talk. And then, I'm uh, just kidding. And then, I was like, I gotta shave my body. See, the cool thing is that I'm not really hairy, right? You thought I had shaved, right? Yeah. But I don't. I'm just fucking, I'm a naked mole rat, baby. Magic or something. Yeah, I'm magic. Just straight naked. Daniel knows what I'm talking about, man. He sees me every single day. Literally, literally, literally like every single day, he just watches me all day, whenever I'm cooking. Um, so I gotta shave. <clears throat> I'm gonna get one more base tan, and I'm gonna whiten my teeth a little bit. Even though I got sexy ass teeth. Feel me? You feel me? What if I just started every video, I was like, hey guys, I am friend of ours. And welcome to my video. Anyways, by the way, to bodybuilding, breakfast done. I'm gonna go, let's go to, you wanna go to King Supers real quick before we, we hit legs? Mm -hmm. um, and then we got college football today, baby. Yeah, baby, yeah, yeah. What, what the fuck? I'm like, I'm looking at that. <laughs> see, this, see, this is the problem with Taylor. My eyes, my this eyes man is now. so deep into, into the camera, he doesn't see that things are going on. Ready? Alright. Bro, bro, look at my hand with, right, your, right. with your eyes. All right. That's, that's all it is. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, go run a lap, man. Go run a lap. Anyways, let's go. Let's have a fucking good day. Last night was shitty. I'm not going to lie. I just wasn't feeling good. Wasn't feeling good. But the whole week was pretty good. I'm not going to not gonna bullshit you. It was freaking gnarly. And now we're going to come in strong. We're going to come in tight. And then the, the oh, me bulking, once body weight to bodybuilding, the series is complete after show day, I'm gonna go into a whole new series of bulking and really like build, dude, I'm gonna build so much muscle, you're gonna look at me and you're like, man, you're muscular. Fucking like that, yeah. Aladdin shit right there, baby. Anyways, let's have a good day. Let's roll! Pro tip. Oh, someone's yelling. He's probably gonna yell at the camera most likely, but little pro tip, when you are done eating, before your workout, rather than just going to the gym and just getting into it, what I suggest, I highly, highly suggest, is getting a walk in. Maybe it's five, 10 minutes. Yeah, good song. Five or 10 minutes. Allow yourself to digest. So we're walking down to the grocery store so we can grab a Celsius. I've, I, I've, I think I've had Celsius one time. It, there's not much stuff in it, right? It's not like a lot of shit. Yeah, it's pretty natural. It's pretty natural. So I'm gonna look at that and I'm also gonna look at a couple other energy drinks. I really, really like having some caffeine in me before these workouts, especially because I'm depleted in many different ways. So it gets me like that extra edge to work really, really hard, especially for my cardio. I have 25 minutes of as hard as I can go. This is the third day out of five days straight. So it's like, it's so consistent. Boom, 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 boom. I like to get a little bump. It's actually my friend owns a, a pre-workout called Speed Bump. You should check it out. I don't know, I think it's pretty freaking wild. I wouldn't take it. But uh, yeah, anyways, let's roll. So there's no Celsius. I know Celsius is a really good drink. I wouldn't have a Red Bull or anything like that. I can't do it. If Rockstar would freaking fall on my face. But there is a uptime. Filtered carbonated water, natural flavor, citric acid, calcium citrate, natural caffeine, 
potassium. It doesn't seem too bad. It's 142 milligrams of natural caffeine. So, so Celsius is how much? 200. 200. Yeah, so I'm gonna go with this. You please take a picture. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna can chug the shit out of this. <laughs> I need something. <laughs> no, okay. All right, let's go. <laughs> this is good. A little pro tip, another pro tip. I'm giving pro tips all day, baby. Professional. Even though I'm an amateur. I'm a pro in many ways, I promise. When you're having your caffeine, you wanna generally stay around 200 to 400 milligrams per day. 400 milligrams is more so if, you're, if you've built up a tolerance. 200 milligrams is more so for you if you're not used to caffeine. Also, where you're getting the caffeine, the sources is very, very important. So if I'm gonna get just natural caffeine from from a bottle this that's what it says natural i don't know what the fuck that means it's going to be different from it's either what is the what is the caffeine there's there's a couple other sources here i'm gonna look it up right now yeah like green tea extract um there's a lot of different sources so so like plant-based sources of of caffeine uh, there is a difference it definitely is especially when when you go to a Starbucks and you just put that caffeine in your body. It, it is different from, let's say you're getting it from matcha or you're getting it from a black tea. Because um, for me, I, I, I really like to, to drink black and white tea. There's something called Hoppa tea in Whole Foods that I drink and it's 60 milligrams of caffeine. And for me, it, like I do feel it and I'm like, damn, this shit's, this shit's nice. Because it's, it's a little bit different. It's a, it, it reacts differently in your body slightly because of the sourcing. You gotta, you gotta think of these things because, you know, or else you're gonna be a gluten baby all, the rest of your life. <laughs> let's go eat the fucking gluten. I want pizza, that's what I want. Let's go work out, yeah? Okay, let's go.
been doing cardio 25 minutes. Did abs, did everything. It was a really, really good workout. Had some good volume in there, a lot of sets. Um, we didn't film the abductions and adductions, but I did that on the machine. And I just did two sets of 10, super set. Just a good way to, to finish off. It's kind of like a cool down in a way. And yeah, I've already drank like over half a gallon and it's only 9.50 in the morning. I try and get a gallon in by noon. Technically, uh, it's a lot of water, but definitely suits me for sure because of how much I burn on the cardio machine. The last cardio that I did, I did 707 calories in 25 minutes. That means I'm pretty much sprinting for 25 minutes uh, and I'm feeling amazing. And we're gonna go back, eat, and, and watch some football today. Post-workout meal, I'm gonna have zucchini and squash. My macros have actually bumped up. They're right here. 250 protein, 255 carb, and 55 fats. I believe it's 255. Whatever's here is here. That's what it is. Um, so I got my zucchini, 455 grams, and then I'm gonna have buffalo. I love buffalo because it's not too fatty, but it's, it's right on point. Like four ounces is five grams of fat and 25 grams of protein. So that's pretty good. And then I'm gonna have some more of these cauliflower thins. I'm telling you, these are like my, my best friend, my absolute best friend. If you eat right, you feel right. I'm actually feeling so, so, so much better today than I have pretty much in the last six to eight weeks. Like way more energy, feeling way happier. That's one of the tough things when it comes to prep that I'm realizing is you can control only so much. You can't control you being exhausted, right? And it's like, yeah, you can tell yourself in your mind, I'm not, I'm not tired, I'm not tired, but you are tired when you are tired. Anyways, I am eating some Brussels sprouts, I'm air frying those bad boys, and then I have rice cauliflower. And I have a few different seasonings. I put some Himalayan pink salt. I put some garlic, some black pepper, and then paprika. This combination makes it delicious. It's 4 p.m. I'm gonna put the macros right here, right here, the bad boys of my full meal. I'm also eating more buffalo. So I'm gonna add buffalo, about four ounces, to that cauliflower rice, and then I have the Brussels sprouts. You know what they say, if you eat right, you feel right. And if you feel right, you look right, and if you look right, you do right, you dick. <laughs> okay, that's the Celsius I was talking about. Do you like it? Yeah, it's pretty good. How much caffeine? Uh, so it's got 200 milligrams, mm. so. It's not bad. Pretty good. I am having another meal. It is 5.35. Macros are right here and everything that I'm eating. But when you can combine zucchini and rice cauliflower, I'm having more rice cauliflower, and then a little bit of eggs, you get so many calories. Well, you feel like you're eating so many calories when really you're kind of not. But it's extremely, extremely filling. The volume is there. So I'm finishing off the night watching some El Football. El Football. And my last set of meals. I ate a lot of yams today, but I didn't do much today. I, I, I walked around, got my steps in, over 11,000. Just really taking a break. I'm excited. It's fall time. Show is coming. I'm creating nutrition, we're doing so many new things. I'm coming up with like a, a lot of ideas. Even here in the past 24 hours, I've come up with a lot of really cool ideas. Surrounded by incredible people. And today was just like one of those days of reminiscing. Reminiscing of my entire life. Where I started, where I am now, and what I'm building, what we're building, what you're building. It, it was really, really beautiful to think about from A to Z. And now that I look at bodybuilding, I was like, damn, why didn't I start earlier? Why didn't I? But it's okay. 27 years old. My birthday was just a couple weeks ago, September 13th. And uh, I got a lot, of, a lot of growing to do. 
and I definitely want to grow in the sport. So, yeah, thanks for tuning in for another episode of Bodyweight to Bodybuilding. Great, great day all around. Remember to check out the podcast, Create You Experience, every Tuesday and Friday. Links in the description. Also, Create You Nutrition. Get your greens, get your creatine HCL, and get the probiotics. We're coming out with a lot of other cool stuff very, very soon, so stay tuned. But uh, thanks for tuning in for another episode, and I'll see you next time. Peace.